Hello guys, I will share with you today settings for light, some light, camera and environment for V-Ray that works really well and you can make with these settings quick tests without having any troubles. I opened empty file, 3D scene. I'll create an object here. I'll go to top view, create first V-Ray light. You can go to lights under V-Ray, V-Ray sun, or you can press it from the quick button. If you have the tabs over here, you can check our menu how to set up um, your custom tabs. Here press yes, meaning that you're going to change automatically the render engine to V-Ray as well. Yes. And drag here the sun, uh, where this is the sun, the, so the light source, and this is the target. Press yes, so this is going to be applied to the environment as well, like this. Then I'll position the source a bit up. Then I will go to press 8, which is the environment effect. Here under exposure control, I will choose physical camera exposure. And here under global exposure, I will press 13, enter and I'll close it. Now, if I press the render button, here I will see this. I will press the um, interactive rendering and the thing that I would like to adjust is here I will choose the light and by the multiplier I'll press 0, 3 and additionally I can go here under standard primitives, go to the right tab and place V-Ray plane. If I apply some material here, so you can see the gray material to the V-Ray plane, so it's neutral. And you can see the colors uh, without anything super burnt or uh, too dark. Now you can see here in the interactive view you have decent light that could work for daylight scenes and you can see your objects quite well. As you, as you saw I didn't put any camera because here when I press 8 sorry when I press 8 here in the environment this value gives me a good ratio between the exposure value, this 13, and the value of the sun, which I've tested many times. That's why, even without having a camera, I have a uh, good light over here in the viewport. And now you can continue experimenting with the light according and fix it according to your needs. If you consider this video as useful, uh, you can support us in Patreon, you can like it or subscribe, or if you have any comments, please let us know below. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.